Okay, what's up, y'all? This is a special day. I'm with my friend Jake Weber. Jake Weber, it's a pleasure to have you on the channel. You mind if I do a Queen Elizabeth wave? Mm-hmm. Jake's doing a Queen Elizabeth wave, and he is, uh, Jake taught me a lot and inspired me a lot about doing YouTube, so shout out to Jake. Jake is a, a big reason why I'm ripping videos like I am, so Hell thank yeah. you, Jake. Hell yeah, ripping videos, ripping ass, baby. And, um, that's, that's pretty much what's going down, um, and I wanted to take this time today, so we just did a food video, we did a food stream, yes, and tried some food, but now I wanted to... Uh, use his brain and uh, feed your guys' brains with um, some more information and a little discussion about, uh, in I don't really know how I want to word this exactly, mm -hmm. but just kind of um, getting past the point of feeling like you're going to be judged from posting online yeah. and um, not concerning yourself with how the majority of people will view you, whether that's people think you're cringe and lame and what do your friends think and all this stuff. And I think that you exemplify that well because you're yourself and you're a, a loud, outspoken guy and yeah. uh, you're a lot of fun. So yeah, to start that off, I know that was a broad question, Jake, but please feel free to be, be vulnerable and uh, keep it real. Yes, and sir. so Jake, what do you think about um, how should I word this? How do you get past caring whatever, what people think when you post online? So I'm from, I'm from Kansas and I feel like, I feel like, I feel like everyone's a lot harder on you there if you're not the sporty type, manly type. Um, I, I wanted to wear skinny jeans and do social media. Like I want to take selfies, like taking Instagram selfies and being in a small town, Kansas, you're going to get fucking roasted. Yeah. And, but that's what I liked. I, I grew up liking Justin Bieber, One Direction. Cause I was like, Oh my God. Like, it's so cool. Like, it's so cool. These people are like my age and they're having this fan base. And like, I, I want that. Like I want to, I want to be able to like create and like, have people watch and care, but you got everyone starts somewhere, you know, at one point you're going to have five viewers and you have to talk to the camera like a million people are watching. Uh-huh. True. And, and you're going <laughs> to, honestly, True. you're, you're going to get roasted. Um, especially if like you're in a small town, I feel like, I mean, I mean out here, I, it, like, it's know. pretty, it's like the standard actually. Yeah. It's out here. Standard. Yeah. But I know a lot of people aren't from LA and they want to do this stuff. And honestly, you just got to go for it because I I went for it and it worked out for me. I mean, there's a chance it could work, you know, like yeah. you might as well like do it. I heard that whenever like old people die, like one, one, one big thing they think about is all their regrets. You know, I'm not trying to be old and, and be regretful because when you're old, um, that shit won't matter. Like what, you know, what anyone thought you're going to be looking back, like just wanting to make sure you did everything that you wanted to do. Take all the chances that you wanted to take, you know? Mm -hmm. And I like, Carrington told me, he said, uh, you gotta be, you gotta be cringe. And that's, that's so fucking true. You can't, you can't literally be the most average, uh, Joe, yeah. you know? Yeah. Because that's what everyone is. Why would someone want to watch something that they see walk into a mall mm -hmm. and talk to every day? They, they gotta see something something like new and something unique. Mm -hmm. And honestly, that could be cringe, but hey, I mean, I feel like uniqueness, like yeah. people call that cringe. When I, when I lived in Kansas, it was like football or nothing. You know, uh -huh. it's a dude, if you played the keyboard, that's cringe. Uh -huh. You know, like anything is uh -huh. cringe that's like not their standard thought process. So it's like, you gotta be cringe, you gotta be different. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like cringe isn't actually real. Mm -hmm. I like that, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I think that applies a lot is to a lot of people. I see, you know, because it like shows up like your friends, what they post on TikTok and like mm. the friends page. It's people that you don't even fucking talk to that you just know. And I see people who are like, quote unquote, trying to blow up. And it's just like all of my girlfriends are all just like posting the same makeup content. And like, well, guys will post to say it's just like why uh, Arrington, my friend Arrington says this really well. He says, why be uh, uh, a good copy when you could be a great you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, everyone's, every, 
these kind of niches or genres of social media creation are created by people who have already like are at the top of that thing. And I'm not saying that you can't go head to head with the best, but why do you want to, you know, play somebody else's game? Why don't you make your own game and let other people hop on that wave? Because then you're only competing with yourself. You're not competing with anyone. You shouldn't be competing with anyone because nobody can be the exact person that you can be online. Nobody can take your spot as being Jake Weber. True. With the things that you're into, with your sense of humor, with how you approach social media, you know, the business mind behind it. Not everyone has those exact same traits to offer. Mm -hmm. So... That is where you need to go head first into because that's your only differentiating factor online. Yeah, I experienced that firsthand too because there was a time when I was only trying to make really like relatable content and very fast paced, very, very like Coco Melon like. <laughs> don't take your eyes off. Don't take your eyes off. And Coco Melon. Yeah, and it's like it's like yeah, I like finessed some views. But those people that like I finesse their view, like they didn't watch it for me. They watch it because I almost like tricked them into viewing. Yeah, I, they I didn't worked give a so fuck hard. You. Yeah, exactly. Like now I make a lot of content with my roommate Johnny, and we literally just sit down in a room and just like eat food or something and just conversate. And people like us being us. They like like our conversations. They like who we are. They don't care like what we do. Like they'll click it because they care about like our personality, not because we try to rob them out of a view try right. to like finesse that view like they they care they they come because uh they care it's it's because like we showed our true selves like we didn't hold back like we could be cringe we could like we do whatever we want we like we're just like us and and people care about that which mm -hmm. is sick it's like cool it's it's cool when people like follow you because they genuinely care for you yeah i, I think something that's beautiful about the internet is that a lot of us know when like we're talking to our homies, we're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, and you're saying out-of-pocket shit, and you're making each other giggle and the shit like that, and you think that, like, you and your buddy are so weird for, like, having all your little quirks and jokes that you guys have together and blah, blah, blah. And then when you can see more people have that stupidity in them, more people have that level of childishness in them and immaturity Dude. and like just that thing that Bro, everyone has I, literally you get to know anyone and they're a goofball yeah everyone yeah, everyone that's like, so that's so true like my roommate johnny's like the most emo man i know he's he's a silly goose sometimes uh -huh. dude. a silly goose and uh, everyone's got that everyone does have that but that's interesting because when people first start social media a lot of people like hold back and they like try to like present like a cool appearance. Yeah, but but being cool, like everyone is trying to be cool. Well, it's probably because so like you know, like imagine like, imagine you have like two hundred followers and you're like, damn, like you know, maybe the girl like that I think's hot's gonna walk watch this. Maybe like you know, I don't want her to think it's cringe or you know, I don't want my friends to like mm -hmm. think this is cringe. But cringe doesn't exist. But everyone, every single person that's anywhere in life, like started there. Yeah, you know, and it, it's it's cringe until you make it in a sense and then it's cool then it doesn't matter then That's people true. are like oh this is sick because it could be it could be cringe that i'm sitting here right now and having this conversation and we're talking like like we know what we're talking about <laughs> you know what i mean it's cringe to someone who's probably 50 years old like what do these fucking idiots know yeah but we're just starting somewhere we're not uh we're not so arrogant to think that we everything that we put out is going to be perfect but we just yeah. know we like making content so we're just going to fucking put content out there it's like exactly. whatever there's like nothing just making what we like yeah making what we like so i think that's uh i don't know i like i like what you said about um just kind of leaning into it and um how not trying to like steal the views not trying to bait the views but yeah. just really just being yourself and like letting the audience get to know you for you and uh and like not holding back like on what like you, who you are too yeah because i know a lot of i guess it takes time you know it feels weird when you're talking to a camera like you're talking to nothing pretty much uh -huh. it takes some time to get used to uh -huh. but i feel like anyone that starts like literally try try to like treat the camera like it's literally your friend mm -hmm. that you've known for like ever see he gets it yeah yeah hell yeah that's yeah absolutely and something that i like is that uh, it's interesting experimenting with different forms of content because I feel like like I preach that like 
what you guys see of me online is who I am in real life. Like I'm pretty much the same person, but you know, with the different content, with different platforms, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch, whatever, I am able to, in a sense, like showcase different things that I'm interested in or different parts of my personality that I think are more applicable. Like uh, TikTok, I understand is more entertainment style, so I get in that kind of like ah, mood because I just yeah. like I just I just have fun with it. You know what I mean? It's like a fun game for me. As to where YouTube, I look at it as like, okay, I actually want to want to slow it down now. Not not saying I don't like what I'm doing. I love what I'm doing, and I also want to uh, have this be an avenue where like I can dive into that more serious, more like analytical part of my personality where like why do we think about these things and how do we feel okay doing this because I know that um, a lot of the people who like fuck with my stuff are all like just as weird as I am probably so <laughs> it's like helpful to see someone else who's like you um, putting stuff out there because you know like you could be us sitting here right now you know you absolutely could because you're interesting enough to do it and you, if you have the thoughts to do it, you probably could do it. It just is a matter of taking action. But, um, yeah, well, you've been on YouTube for a while. What is your favorite kind of type of, of content to make after doing it? For, how long have you been doing social media? Oh, dude, like 10 years. 10 and I've learned, years. Dude, I never a stopped decade. learning. I've never stopped learning. A too. decade. That's so fucking long. I know. Long. I know. Oh, my God. And it, like, it constantly changes, too. You know, like, I don't know. I literally look back on all my old content, like, as stuff like I would never make now, but you know, it's all about learning. It's all about like, you know, figuring out, like you kind of have to, you have to like take risks and get uncomfortable to like learn from it, you know? You have to take those L's. You, you have to take mean? those L's. Like I made, I made so much content. I was like, oh my God, why did I think that was good? Uh -huh. But like, you know, it's all, you have nothing to learn from if you don't do that shit. If, yeah. if you're not like, you know, constantly trying to try something new and figure something out. You have no reference point of like of you measuring your content if it's getting better if you've never posted yeah. anything. If you're focused on making if you're scared to do social media because you want your first video to be perfect, like you're already in the wrong mindset for it because it's not about this video, it's like about the next video. It's like yeah. you're not doing it so you can have the best video right now. You're doing it so you can have the best content all the time. Yeah. That everything you put out is just gold. Yeah. And you're never gonna get to that point if you're too scared to to fail once because you know your next 25 videos are gonna suck too. But then at at video number 50, you're gonna be like, oh, I'm kind of getting the hang of it. Oh, I'm kind of getting better at this thing, and I'm I'm yeah. you know what I mean. Well, it's like I feel like it's it's like a sport in a way. You can't just start basketball and be a star. Like you have to like work on it. Uh huh. You know. Yeah, and it's, and it may, if you suck at the beginning, you could call that cringe, but. I mean, what's cringe about just learning something? Yeah. Trying to figure something out. Yeah. Hey, it's all we're doing out here, baby. Yeah. But yeah, right now I like do like do me and Johnny. We do um, we just go go to stores mm -hmm. and just like walk around and shop and mm -hmm. like you know just joke with just each other. Around. And people like love it. They they like want us to keep making more of it. Uh huh. And I I haven't seen any videos like that. I know people have done that before, but it feels cool because like it feels like something that like like we're I feel like. It's like unique in a sense. Like I, I, you know, people people do that so much, but I don't know. We people just like really enjoy us going and shopping, and and they're like, oh yeah, let's just like we could just keep doing this. Mm -hmm. and it's people. it's fun watching the the friendship. It's, yeah, it's fun to watch people be friends. It reminds you of your friends in your life. Yeah, yeah. People people watch it, and they're like, oh, this is so me. Oh, this is like me and my friends. Like people people watch it. And they could relate to it. They could. They also say, like, "Oh, I wish like I was friends with you guys. Mm -hmm. You know, I wish I wish like I like went, had like friends to go to the store like this. Like uh -huh. it's just like we're super like genuine. Like we're super we're super dorky, mm -hmm. and we don't like hold back. I think people like that. Mm -hmm. And before you would go on social media, you would think that being dorky is lame. Mm -hmm. And now, from someone who is it, who does social media, it's a selling point now. Like, you know, it's also crazy. Mm -hmm. Dude, I've done videos where I've spent like, like a thousand or two, for just for one video, like the budget. Dude, I go to the store with Johnny. We spend like, you know, we we buy groceries, and and it's like doing way better than those ever did. Uh -huh. Like also, you don't have to have like a huge production. You don't have to like do some Mr. Beast content where you're giving away money or and like literally, it's it's so it's so simple. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Do you know, do you know, um, you know, Faze Rug? 
I know of Phase Rock, but I've never watched Phase Rock. So he stuff. he invited me to do um, an unboxing on his channel, and I was like, oh my god, he's like one of the uh, biggest YouTubers ever. Like, this is so cool. I wonder like what, um, I wonder what it's like like for him to make a video because he has like over twenty five million mm -hmm. subscribers. It's a lot. And I was like so curious, like what a what a setup was, and you know it's just like a just like a, you know a camera. I was like, oh yeah, I, it's the same thing I'm doing. Like, there's no difference. Like, wow. you, there's like there. I was like waiting for like a cool, like crazy, like production or behind the scenes trick. Like, you know, just uh -huh. a camera like me. I was like, damn, like you know, like anyone, anyone like you know has a shot. Like you know, like yeah, you have access, has a shot. You have access to a camera. Like you could do it. Uh -huh. Like I was like I was like expecting there to be like some crazy like you know production, but it was just like you know it was a chill like you know just holding the camera like video. I was like, uh -huh. whoa, you know, how'd that unboxing go? It was great. It was yeah. great. But I was just like, wow, you know, like I could, I could do it. Like, you know, I could, I could be as big as I want, uh -huh. you know, for sure. That's a good mindset. I like that you said that. Yama. I like that you said that. Um, you know, what? an analogy I like to use is like, I think this is how I kind of treat my, my social media. So if you are going on a date with a girl and your first date, you take her to a steakhouse then every single date after that that's not the steakhouse will be considered bad because mm. they're used to the steakhouse. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, mm -hmm. they're not getting steak. Like, they don't want McDonald's, you know? So if I, if all of my videos, I, I don't edit because I'm lazy. That's, like, this is just me making an excuse for being lazy. <laughs> but also, I know that if I were to go ham and put three hours into editing a video, I would need to do that every single day, and I just don't want to fucking do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I just don't do that. But that's uh, real though. But like, know? but that way I'm also, and I also think there's like leverage in that to the point where it's like, I, my video isn't so, it is like definitely much slower pace, but at the same time, I feel like you get to know me better because you get to watch me stutter. You get to watch me not know what to say. Yeah. There's <laughs> a charm to it. Yeah. You, you get to watch me lose in a sense. And like, it's okay to lose. And like, you don't have to look sick on camera. You can just kind of talk and I can just pick your brain and like submit and be like yeah you do know more than me so like yeah. what's up you know what I mean I mean people like people like streamers yeah That's, it's just it's a lie true people true. like that authenticity uh sorry that word's so hard for me authenticity <laughs> authenticity okay. authenticity <laughs> authenticity baby authenticity yeah I like um I don't know you know just like that fast that fast like content to like raw views is just like so oh dude I'm so over it like I love content like this like I'll watch like your videos I I just love something that's that I feel like I can keep up with like I'm listening to someone talk keep up with like, it feels like it feels human you know I feel like the world's obsessed with not I feel like the world's obsessed with um non-human things like AI this that but like I feel like at the end of the day like nothing's more refreshing than just like watching something that feels like human and not yeah. so robot -y, Yeah. You know, just like listening to like conversations and uh -huh. I love Good Mythical Morning because like they just, they sit there and they just like laugh and you know, try things and it's just like, I don't know. I just love authentic content. Uh huh. Yeah. I feel that. I, I, I don't know what, I think like right when I was starting posting on, uh, on YouTube, my friend told me about Sam Solik and I was like, who's this person? You Sam Solik? <laughs> yeah, dude. And I'm just like, and I was like, wow, this is a 45 minute video of yeah. like, like he's not editing. He just is like slapping it like, okay, this is after love this. It. This is after this. It's like, and I was like, that is just amazing. Because, people love it. And it's a video every day and they're long as fuck. I'm like, this dude is like crushing it, dude. And I just, I just get inspired by it. Just watching him too, like. He's, he's so he's, fucking chill. He's so chill. He's like, he's like so fucking chill. It's literally like you're like there with him. Yeah. I feel like that's like the best content when it's, I think it's called like a, like a best friend content. It's like the content that you watch and you feel like, you know, you're like friends with them when you're uh, watching it, which is like super comforting. Yeah. Maybe I should have that more in mind when I make my videos. Best friend content. Yeah. <laughs> It's sick. It's sick. I feel like that's 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 probably most of what I like like to watch. I'd I'd say even me and Johnny, like when we like do all of our videos, I'd say it's like best friend content because I feel like the viewers like also like there with us. Like, yeah, yeah. And we're like you know making like little potty jokes and stuff like that. Just like just very like feels like we we got this little uh, little like inside joke circle. You know, it's mm -hmm. nice. Hmm. It's nice. 
Yeah. I can't even think of, of any more questions. This has been good. I, I like what you've had to say. This Hell good. yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't know. Long story short, you, you, I don't know, just like if you want to do something, like do it. I mean, outside of like social media, just in general, you know, like it's better It's better to not live with regrets. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that you preach that, dude. I yes, think that's sir. very relevant. I think that's also very... Um, I think that's a really relevant thing to think about in an age where it's so easy to get judged for doing what you like because yeah. everything is so like publicized and like everything is posted and yeah. everything is in your face. Like if you're doing something, everyone knows about it and yeah. that definitely raises the stakes of whatever you're doing because you feel like everyone's watching you. But at the same hey, time... Hey, die on your own time, buddy. Yeah, at the same time, everyone else is just... Everyone else feels like that as well. Everyone else feels like everyone's watching them do their thing. Everyone's watching them fail. Everyone's yeah. watching their videos flop. Everyone's watching their their songs flop, their merch flop. You know what I mean? Dude, also, but like, you know what's interesting is like, this is really hard for me to like always keep in mind, but like, people are not like thinking about you like you think they're thinking about you. You know? <laughs> True shit. Like friends, like... Whenever you're like, oh, if so, like people see this, like are people gonna think this is like that, like, or when you're walking, dude, I have, I'll walk into a Target and I'll just like think that like, you know, oh, like people are gonna like look at me maybe like and like I don't know I could get judged, you know, if I'm wearing just like my PJs today, like oh, I, like dude, no one gives a fuck. Yeah. No one gives a fuck. They're thinking the exact you're same thing. You're not that interesting. Yeah, you're not that interesting. <laughs> and interesting. Yeah, exactly. Like. Just, like, I feel like everyone's, like, everyone literally has an entire world in their head. Yeah, for sure. You know? Mm-hmm. And that world can be as bright or as dim as uh, you make it to be. Hey. Morgan Freeman over here. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I, mean, I think that's good advice. I just, I, I something that, that I, I noticed, like, a common comment that we'll get asked is just, like, how do you be yourself? How do you start posting? And I, I do say that, like, first of all, I'm not going to be the person that convinces you that social media is great because I've, I've said it once. I'm not going to say it again. You know that you want to do social media or you know at the very least that it would be fun to do social media. So I'm not here to convince you, but I will tell you, I will comfort you and let you know that not everyone is staring at you do it, okay? People aren't that fucking interested with you. So, yeah. do it. It's gonna go to whoever likes it. The people who don't like it, great. You know that your videos aren't for them. That's 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 as good as a yes because you know not to show those videos to those people. Like, I, I don't know. I'm kind of going in circles here. No, I, I like what you said, like, um, you're not where you, where you, where you, <laughs> <laughs> yes, but, um, what was it? You said, um, like, pretty much you gotta want it. Like, you, that's true. Like, you got to fucking actually, like, want it. Like, you can't just, like, shitpost and expect it to go crazy. I Being out here, like, in L.A., you see so many people come and go, come and go, come and go. Or so many people say that, yeah, I'm going to get on it, you know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, I'm going to start, like, posting. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then there's the people that want it. And, like, dude, when I see the people that want it, like, they, like, it always somehow works out for them. Mm -hmm. The ones that always want it. Mm -hmm. Like, there's... But, like, there's so many people that, you know, like, they'll say they want it, but, like, you know, it's all about taking action. Yeah, so true. So fucking true, dude. Yeah. I I feel like even since I've moved here, I've been here almost two, three years now. Almost, this is about a, yeah, almost two years now. Um, this is coming my third year. And the, I don't know, like, the relevancy or, like, hierarchy or whatever of, like, people who are, like, big on TikTok when I came and like I was like damn like little fish dude people just mom. like stop people just fucking stop they're like oh like, I like I burned out but like you know that's that's fine I guess if they like it, fa fair if you don't do. like it fair if you don't yeah. want to do it fair and and all the more power to you go go be happy yeah. but also like I know that like there's work put into this it's like what you just yeah, got you lazy like, you, for you, a month now you, you just gave up you can't up. stop you can't like, stop um, but like that, you can't stop with anything you do like yeah you know, if you want to, you can't just stop going to school one day. Yeah, you know? I know exactly, exactly. Some people are like, you know, like I'm burned out. It's like, you know, it's like I feel like our job is like it's like it's like a blessing. It's like 
It dude, totally I used is. to fucking work at Jimmy John's, bro. I was fucking burned out, bro. Uh, I, like this is I, like when people are like, "Oh, I'm burned out on social media." I'm like that's that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> this is like yeah, I feel you, dude. Like that's crazy. Yeah, I mean, I remember getting home at like eleven thirty from like working the ice cream shop and like dude. just sitting in my car like fuck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I really think it's just the best job in the world, dude. Yeah, I dude. But you just gotta like want it, you know? Like I don't know, I don't know how to like like really put that, but like I feel like most people most people like don't really want it or maybe they maybe say they want it but yeah it's all about that it's all about that action baby mm-hmm. and that's even like in general like you know i'll have you know I'll, and i'll know people that are like yeah i'm gonna get back to the gym mm-hmm. yo i'm getting back next week like you know <laughs> like you know what like never happens or like yo you know what i'm gonna do this and like it just like everything they say their words are like it's jello you mm-hmm. know you could stick your hand right through it mm-hmm true dude you don't you want your word is everything yeah you can't put a price on your word oh i also like what you said when uh when you're saying like your plans like don't speak them like just do them yeah yeah dude. you know dude, dude there's so many people that like come to me and they're like oh yo i got like i got this or like you know i got this crazy deal yo this is about to be crazy i got like this role and like but it never happens uh-huh or like or like oh my god i got like this artist on a song uh-huh. you know it's gonna be crazy but then it never happens uh-huh. you there's know? something to be said about just moving in silence and just making it happen yeah you know just let people see you don't need to tell everyone that you're doing it just just let people see what you're doing yeah and i think dude I, I, i've actually watched so much of your shit no i appreciate also it, i really like when you said um that um the the people that have it aren't like bragging about it you know like someone like like Diddy or like Elon Musk, they'll never like mention how much they make. Mm-hmm. But you'll see someone at a party and be like, they're, they're literally their their introduction is, "Hey, I I'm this and I was on the show." You know, uh-huh. like nice to meet you. Like you know, like yeah. Y- it's like, you ever have people like come up to you and they tell you all the reward, the, all their awards? I, I had somebody, I had somebody within two seconds meet them. They were like, "Hey, I'm blah blah blah. I just put a hundred grand on Ethereum like last year." And I was like, "What kind of like <laughs> how like." shallow do you have to be to let like something like that like define you like good for you but is it not enough to just be your name and then you are your character like you like you don't have to sell people on yeah well that's what people try to do out here like i feel like people take like i know how la parties are like networking Mm -hmm. so people say i mean so people take that and they actually like literally pitch themselves when they meet people yeah I'm not even looking for that when I meet people. It's yeah, it's honestly <laughs> scary when you're at a when you're at a party where like you know people are trying to do that cuz the stuff like that like we'll, we'll go to more like a birthday party it's like okay, people like know each other. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? Opposed to like <clears throat> going to like a like just moved here LA influencer party like that's like scary. That's like the trenches. For real, bro. I I've, I've definitely uh, sp- done my time in those but those are also <laughs> fun as fuck if you're just getting wasted whatever <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the, 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 the favorite my favorite people in my life i just met them like organically and, and what, there was no pitch you know absolutely like, like johnny i i rated him on twitch like because i was like oh my god look at this fucking this emo dude like he's like the emo that's crazy i rated him we followed each other afterwards he dm me um, hey, thanks to radio. I was like, yeah, dude. If you ever come out to LA, like, um, hit me up. And then he came out to LA. We like hung out, dude, and, and you no, know, it, it, it was very like organic. Like it came together. Wow, that's you know? nice. It wasn't like a hey, let's put a collaboration together. Let's mm-hmm. meet up and collaborate. It's like we became <clears throat> friends, and now we make content, and it's like so genuine. Uh huh. That's great, dude. You know, um, something I wanted to touch on was um, going back to the point on action, mm-hmm. and just saying how. Uh, Dude, I like today. We were like we, we were talking about doing this stuff on YouTube like two weeks ago. Like we kind of yeah. mentioned it, and then today I got a crack in, and I see your story, and I just say like, "Yo, let's let's do a collab this week," and then you're like, "All right, let's do it today." Like, All right, let's <laughs> dude. Go. I literally like saw let's my go. schedule, and I was like, "Oh, I'm not, I'm not doing shit today." Yeah. Like, might as well like do some shit today. Yeah, and just like on top of it, capitalizing on it because no, it's not gonna just happen. Like you have to. I had to get in my fucking car, drive Dude, over here, do the act, fucking thing. People act like they're a lot more fucking busy than they are. Yeah, too. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit. True <laughs> shit. True shit. Like, bro, shit. I like. I think I call myself like a busy guy. I'm like free most of the time every day. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> but like, you know, I like edit all my videos. But like, I like yeah. do the stream every single day. Like, I'm so busy. 
but I literally have some type of time every single day for something. Uh huh. Absolutely. You absolutely. Know? That that's the freedom that you get with being an influencer. Is that like you're able to have that time and and the time that you spend working yeah. doesn't feel like working it feels like fun yeah it's you know? definitely a blessing I, I have been i have actually been that, that's funny you say that because i actually for the first time in my influencing career influencer career actually am busy i actually do feel oh i gotta check if it's sick but do feel busy but it doesn't feel like busy at all though yeah. like i might be busy and stressed out but like I would so much rather be busy and stressed out with this shit than I would be, you know, back when I was working at Cream Street, you yeah. know, had dishes in the fucking thing or like had yeah. to be at the office or anything. It's all about taking that chance too. Like, it's like we like got this opportunity because like we wanted it. We took, we had to take that chance. We had to like, you know, go through the layers of cringe, quote unquote. Yeah. I like, From you know, suck I, to succeed. Yes, dude. I got, I got like roasted and shit, but like, you know, I'm doing my thing now and I'm, I'm so thankful that like I did it. I'm so thankful that I told myself I could do this and I tried mm -hmm. because I used to think dude, like growing up, dude, I'd see a celebrity on the TV and it's almost like they weren't even real people. It's like, that's exactly, something I will yes. never be. That's uh -huh. something that I will never, ever even, I don't, I don't think I'll ever see a celebrity in my life. And do you get starstruck when you see a celebrity now? No, 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 I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I think like they're like, it's, it's impressive that they met me. I'm like, <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God. I'm like, like you guys are amazing for meeting me. Like congratulations. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. Like, I don't know. It's, it's a, uh, but growing up like in Kansas, like it's kind of just like celebrities, like are this like untouched, un are these untouchable people that like you will never be mm -hmm. but like i like swear they're God, different dude, from you dude literally i um i always think about this when i was um in high school i was getting straight d's and i was uh, uh not on some gay shit but i was getting straight d's bro i was getting straight oh. d's <laughs> <laughs> I like, uh, dude, I was so bad in school. God bless my parents' hearts. They like, uh, they still supported me. They weren't like mad. Um, but I, like my talents, what I was good at had nothing to do with school. And people looked at me like I was like super dumb. They're like, oh my God, like you can't pay attention like for shit. It's almost disrespectful. Like my teachers, my teachers thought I was like, oh, it's almost disrespectful how much I didn't like pay attention or like how bad I was at my work and people were like, oh my God, like, oh, bad at sports too. You know, it was like, I was like, I was like dumb and like useless, but, but I was really good at, you know, my own hobbies, but that, you know, obviously that doesn't matter to them. Mm -hmm. But, um, I was like, I was like, you know what? Like, it's going to work out one day. And I told my, my, my mom told me, she was like, she's like, there's, there's like a plan for you. Um, your grades don't matter. Like, you know, you're going to get, you're going to get this figured out. She believed it too, because they, they, they saw I had like something like, in me that like you know i didn't want like a, a normal life like i want to do something different they saw the vision yeah they saw the vision are your parents religious oh uh, no they're ah, not. they were just seeing the vision just like yeah wow. no they, they just like not even they like believed in me because i was I, I was like... always like a little like off like i was always like a little weird uh -huh. um like i wasn't like i wasn't like smoking weed every day and like you know fucking up my classes like i literally was like a sober gopher dude just like literally doing awful in school but like i'm like intelligent in my own ways so that's how they that's why they saw they're like oh like we know you're smart this just isn't meant for you like you're meant for something else wow you know? what a blessing dude yeah, and honestly like maybe if i didn't hear that maybe i wouldn't have like taken it but like they supported me and i was like i was like that's like i'm gonna like i literally like in my brain i was like something really awesome is going to work out for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing exactly what I want to do. I would not want to do proud anything you, else, dude. I'm proud of you, dude. Just That's making awesome. videos, like, making videos and just being silly, silly goose moments. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, it's the best, dude. That's a lovely note. And, um, yeah, that's great, dude. Thanks for sharing that. Um, I think that there's a lot of people in that, in that category of, like, what – Quote, not to be, like, uh, melodramatic, but, like, what society puts you into. Yeah. You know what I mean? Situation that society puts you in that, like, you don't necessarily, like, exceed in or it doesn't sit well with you. You're not very interested in it. There's a lot of people that think because they can't do that thing, they can't do anything else. But if you're really bad at that thing, you probably got those attribute points put in a better thing. Like, you probably are lacking in that. But you have a really high level in that, like a video game. Like kind of a, You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, but... Um, yeah, I think that was a great note, dude. I think, honestly, let's end it on that. That's great, you know? You know if you have it 
you know if you got that dog inside of you, you know if you want it. Look at how shitty this Dude, is. Dude, yeah, it's not, on a goddamn it, potato. It's, it's not even about the video quality, though. It's just about the value that we're talking about, and that's what I have so much fun with YouTube. So, um, you know, no one's going to convince you to go get it, but... Uh, the grass is greener if you work for it. Uh, you can make it happen. Uh, we're no different than you are. Um, we're probably weirder. And uh, <laughs> yeah, but so this is my friend Jake. Check out Jake's YouTube channel. Check out Jake's Twitch. Check out Jake's Instagram. Check out Jake's Twitter. Check out Jake's <laughs> music. Check out Jake's merch. Uh, Jake Weber. Jake Weber. Jake Weber. Jake Weber. Jake Weber. That's his name. <laughs> Love you guys. It's my friend Jake. Jake, thanks for coming on. Thanks Much for having love, me, buddy. And. Um, Till next time. Thanks, guys. Be the person you wish you had. Love you guys. Bye-bye.